Hi, I'm Steve Siebold, author of 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class, How Rich People Think, and Secrets Self-Made Millionaires Teach Their Kids. For 13 years, I've been a vendor to World Financial Group as an author and speaker. I'm not affiliated with WFG in any other way. WFG did not pay me to write this book or film this documentary, nor did the company or anyone else have any editorial control over the content. The reason I wrote this book and filmed this documentary was to challenge the critics that attack this organization, especially online. I wanted to set the record straight. What I found out about World Financial Group was that despite the challenges this business model presents, this is a company that cares. The company's philosophy is no family left behind. We bring Wall Street to Main Street. These are some of the slogans, and this is really our company's philosophy. It's more than a slogan, it's our belief system. We're out there trying to help people that aren't being helped by the traditional industry. It's a company with a heartbeat. It's an imperfect company that desperately wants to be perfect. But I accept the fact that I'm imperfect and, and I'm gonna keep trying to do the right thing and that everybody else is too. You know, if I could build a perfect company, I would. It's a good company run by good people with noble intentions. I was surprised by the leader's willingness to share the pros and cons of the opportunity. Their level of candor to a person was impressive. What's given you the greatest joy during your, your career in WFG? Uh, to see people become successful. Uh, to, to witness somebody who came to the business when they don't have anything. I, I, I like, for example, you look at one of my top, top, uh, uh, right now she's number one. Like last month she was number one uh, uh, personal producer, number one base shop, number two super base in the whole company, Connie Chen, who came to this business because she wanted to learn English. <laughs> right, uh, many, many months in, in the business presentation meeting, office meeting, she came in by not knowing what we say at all. She had to learn English from ABC. She have a, a calc, uh, she have a dictionary, electronic uh, dictionary. So she will punch in the number, uh, the, the, the word English, and then it will come out Chinese. That's how she took her license. Wow. Took her one and a half year to pass her license, life license. And right now she's about 2.5, right? Go, going to be $2.5 million. That is, that is very rewarding. The number one most profitable part of our business is when you recruit someone, you train them, you help them, you coach them, you mentor them, you develop them, and ultimately you're gonna transform their life. And not just in business, but every aspect of their life is gonna be transformed because of this business. So I love that part. I get messages all the time, text messages and, and letters, thank you for changing my entire life. So I just, it's very, very a noble thing that we're doing to help people, but it, it actually pays us a lot to do it. We're getting 15 to 20% off every person that we're helping transform their life. So it's just a win-win situation. You're helping people tremendously, you're changing their entire life, and you're making tons of money to do it. So that's a win-win. Like sometimes I feel like I'm in a nonprofit organization because I'm helping people so much, but then we just so happen to be in one of the highest paid industries in the world which is just a win-win situation. So I love, I love that aspect of it, I really do. Just seeing people's lives change right before my eyes, it's, it's incredible. That was a wonderful joy, knowing that my clients and people who saved money in their, in their plans, that when an emergency came up, they actually had that money. You know? Or some people who in 2008, you know, during the big financial debacle, when they lost their jobs, you know, most people who hadn't saved money were filing bankruptcy and losing their homes. Right. Well, most of those clients who had saved money with me had access to that cash, and they were able to use that cash to keep their family afloat. So that was a tremendous joy to sit there and go, wow, because of me, they didn't file bankruptcy. Because of me, their family isn't losing their house. Because of me, they're gonna be able to retire in dignity. Because of me, their kids are actually gonna to go to college and not be in student loan debt, right? The best thing I liked about WFG was the sincere desire on the part of the leaders 
to help their people live their dreams. Well, there's a lot of downsides. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I think that um, it's not easy. There's, there's actual work to be done. You have to, go, you have to show up to work every day still, even though you are your own boss as an independent contractor, um, you still, if you don't work, you probably aren't gonna make money. That's number one, you have to work. So that's one of the downsides. Number two, there's licensing. Somebody actually, actually has to go study, and honestly, insurance is pretty dry material. So you gotta study again, and if you're straight out of college, you're used to taking tests. But if you're a 50-year-old man, you haven't probably taken a test since you were 20. I mean, it's been 30 years since you studied and took an exam. Right. So there's some licensing that you gotta pass, and then, then you've gotta go out there in the field and do the hardest thing, which is face possible rejection, prospecting people. And, that, and a lot of people don't like the way that feels, and they don't like it so much that immediately, upon experiencing it, they quit. I, I haven't seen too many people work really hard and have it not work out for them. You know, pretty much anybody who this doesn't work for, they gave up too soon. You know, because every single person at the top of our company, their business passed through where you're sitting there today. The difference is, you're about to give up and they didn't. And they kept right on going and busted through it. And it could have been a challenge, it could have been a deficiency, it could have been maybe the test is hard for you, maybe becoming a people person is hard for you or speaking is hard for you. But to me, not being successful is hard. You know, poverty is hard. So, sure. so if, if you've got to pick the hard, do the hard that gives you a chance to be successful. Not the hard that makes you have to satisfy and, and you know, take, take what, what you get. You got to be patient, right? You got to give it some time. You got to put some effort into it. Um, you got to learn something new. It's something maybe you've never done before. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, right? But it is totally worth it being financially free, not having to worry about money, have a, having a stay at home spouse. The worst thing I found during my 13 years of research was the whining and complaining of failed associates. These snowflakes fail and then say WFG is a scam. I look at it this way, you know, Aegon is a, is a half a trillion dollar organization or thereabouts. They wouldn't spend the time, energy, effort, and money in our organization if it wasn't. First of all, we're fingerprinted, we're licensed, we're highly regulated. You know, we sponsor the U.S. Olympic luge team, for example. I, I doubt very seriously that the U.S. Olympics would be involved in an organization. You know, that's a scam. I mean, so I would take, take that, those types of criticisms, those types of things you find on the Internet. I would look at the source. You know, you always have to look at the source. Um, half the time, they, they don't spelling things correctly. They're complaining about something. And if you really direct it back to them, usually it's things that they didn't do on their own. They're mad because they didn't make any money. Well, sure. I mean, this is not... This isn't a job, this is a business. And if you wanna build a business, you're gonna to have to get out there and do some things. And if you're not willing to do those things, for example, talking to people about what you do, right? If you don't speak to anybody about what you do, nobody's gonna know what you do and you're never gonna be able to make any money in this business. I mean, come on people. Grow up and take responsibility for your own laziness and failure to follow the system. You gotta to get tough or, or get out. I mean, what do you've got to lose if you try? I, I try to share with them the worst case scenarios. What's the worst case scenario if you come in here, kick the tires around, test drive it a little bit for the next 30, 60, 90 days? What's the worst case scenario? Well, let's, let's look at the worst case scenarios. Number one, you're gonna get a great education on how money works. What's so bad about that? You come in here for 30, 60, 90 days and you don't make a penny, but you walk away with the type of financial education that may have cost you thousands of dollars at a community school. Uh, what's so wrong with that? You walk away with licenses and certain credentials that if nothing works out for you here, you can always slap them on a resume. And maybe because you've got licenses and credentials and some kind of financial training on a resume, it might help you get the job over the guy who doesn't have those licenses. So what's wrong with that? Three, you're going to, you'll, you'll get around great people that are going to be there to encourage you and to help you believe in yourself when you may not believe in yourself. What's wrong with that? What's not about those three things? Not, uh, what's not to like about that? And what's not to want to give that a try? You only really know if it is for you or not 
if you do it. If you don't do it, you will actually never know. And you know, it's been asked people on their deathbeds, what's their biggest regret? It wasn't doing things, it was the things they didn't try. And so if, if you're someone that fits what you get out of WFG, meaning if you're someone that does want more, because there's some people are satisfied with what they have and that's not the right fit. But if you are the right fit, meaning you want more things for yourself and your family, you want financial freedom, you want a lifestyle, you want to learn, you want to be able to become a, a, you know, more developed in business or personal life, then you need to try and see if this is a fit so that you can get that outcome. So as long as you want the outcome, I think that you will not know unless you try. If it's better for you in every measurable way, why wouldn't you want to do it? And, uh, and so when it comes to our, our business and the career side of it, you know, I think that for most people, what they would say to themselves is, you know, IBM's not got the red carpet rolled out for me. You know, I'm, I'm not going to invent something. I'm not going to be a rocket scientist. I'm not going to be an athlete. So this may be my shot at, at being the most successful for, for me as an entrepreneur. And if I've got these guys willing to teach me and mentor me and coach me, and they've got a system I can follow that's produced the success that they're enjoying, and it looks like it's something I can trust and it's noble, you know, and, and information, we live in the information age, so it makes it all available. I just don't know, I don't know why somebody wouldn't give this a good shot, take their shot at it, because if it works out and you like it and you do well at it, I'm not sure there's anywhere else you could be as successful as you could here. For anyone considering WFG, what have you got to lose? These millionaires are willing to mentor you for free on speculation. I mean, how many millionaires outside of WFG are willing to mentor you? How long did it take you to become successful? Say seventy-five thousand dollars a year. Uh, that's the third year. The third year. The third year. Were you doing it full time or part time? Part time. Part time. Yeah. And how long did it take you to go full time? Mm, by nineteen ninety-nine, that's almost three years. Almost three years. Okay. After I become a full time, uh, much better, because I have the time to go out, uh, remote location. I can drive like a three, four, five hours to go out. And then after I become full time, I make two hundred thousand dollars, very fast from like seventy five thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars. And how long did it take you to become successful? And when I say successful, let me say maybe seventy five thousand dollars a year somewhere. I was very very lucky. I have a. Uh, I always say that this business is not that tough. It's quite easy for me. Uh, I think it's all about philosophy. It, it, the reason it's easy because I'm in the United States. I'm in America. If should I stay in? Uh, where I came from, I will never have this kind of chance, right? Number two, uh, I have a chance to find out this opportunity, a platform. Number three, because of the mentorship that provide to me. So I was very, very blessed to be able to associate with Swan, Rich Dolly, and even the previous owner. Uh, so it took me one and a half year uh, to become marketing director. So, but right after I licensed, I got about 100,000, 123,000. And the second year, uh, then two and a half years since the day I joined, I became CEO. That's where my husband quit the job. So by the third year, I make about four hundred thousand dollars. So I, I was one of the faster one, uh, not because I'm smarter than anybody else, because the WRG have the one of the best platform, and for me, it's the one of the most duplicatable system. And I was coachable enough to follow every single thing that they told me. And how long did it take you to become successful? Like in your first year, how, what, did you, what did you make? Do you remember? Um, in WFG. Oh, in WFG? Sure. Um, I remember perfectly. Uh, my first year, I did $120,000. Wow. In my first 12 That's months. That's a lot, your first year. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but it's, it, it all has to do with expectations, Steve. Um, when I joined WFG, I, for, in my mind, I wasn't worth um, less than $100,000. So for me... Uh, that was a zero. So I had to go out there and make $100,000. That, that I'm worth more than that. So for it to really work, um, I have to be able to produce that myself. If not, it's, it's, it's not going to work. It's, I think it's, it's something about self-confidence and, and the expectations you have on, on your skills and knowledge. So with the skills and knowledge I already brought to, to the table, it was, you know, it, it was me or being lazy or the system really didn't work. If you're wondering how long it'll take to make it, that'll depend on you. I'll tell you what I discovered during the research. These leaders are serious about your success. These people are workhorses. They'll work as hard for you as you will for yourself.
the system, if you run it, will generate the results that you wish. And it doesn't take an, an extraordinary person to do that. It just takes a persistent person with, with a real dream and a drive. So when I recognized that system and I saw like a, a if you will, a roadmap or a railway already laid down, a railroad tracks were already laid down in front of me. And, and then there was examples of success, of success everywhere I looked. Everywhere I looked, there were examples of success. And I thought, well, if they can do it, I can do it. And if they've got this system to run on, I just can run that system and get those same results. So that was, for me, was an easy, uh, an easy, uh, you know, no brainer. So that's what you did to succeed. You followed the system. I just followed the systems. I mean, I didn't do anything outside the ordinary. You know, I've always, I've always known if you want to be successful, just copy whatever the successful person is doing. Don't try to reinvent something yourself. And, and imitation, right? They, we're, we're not paid to, to, uh, to create here in WFG. We're paid to imitate. And, and in, in most societies, when you say, well, I'm just going to imitate this person, they look at that as a bad thing. And they say, well, why don't you just do something or create something on your own? Well, you don't need to. I mean, sure. you, you can just imitate. And that, that, again, goes back to the military background. The military background for me was, was there was no creation there. It was already done. You, want, you, do, you see somebody shoot a rifle, you imitate it. You see somebody fix something, you imitate it. You see how someone's supposed to shine your shoes, you imitate that. There's no you know, inventive sort of ways. And uh, the systems have proven and, uh, and powerful. And so you just run them and you're going to get the result. What do you think over all these years has been the secret? I know there's no secrets necessarily, but what's been sort of the secret of your, of your success? Because so many people obviously want to be the next Tom Matthews and so few people actually make it there. And so you're there now. What, well, what I, do you think it is? I learned it as a musician. I was first chair all the way through every band I was ever in but because I practiced and I worked harder than everybody else. I knew that I could practice those songs enough to where I had it down and I just had a suspicion that I might work harder than the next guy. And so when it came time for it, I nailed it and they didn't because I practiced more. And so I took that same mindset into this and I've just always been a hard worker. I get up and the first thing I do is go straight to the office. And when I can't do it one more second, that's when I go home. And I just have put that much time in. You know, when I was single and young, I did it seven days a week. And, uh, and now I do it differently, but I still kind of do it. I'm, I'm still thinking about it and, and I'm, I may be online or I may be doing a webinar or a conference call, but I'm still doing it and, uh, and, and sharing it. And, and, and I believe that there's an amount of hard work between where you are today and where you want to be. And I believe there's somebody in our company who's got a style that's very similar to yours that you could emulate and you could take that style that way of doing it and your hard work and your passion and get out there and get after it and you can make it happen for you. What's their secret? Well, to start with, these are very talented people. I mean, you don't make millions of dollars in any field without talent. But beyond that, these people are street fighters. They don't whine or whimper, they fight. They fight for their financial freedom and the toughest ones make it. The number one thing, and it's any business, it's any, it's sports, right? It's everything. It's, it's rejection, which is losing, failing, falling down. It's all the same thing. Sure. Right? So, um, I mean, it's, you're going to get rejected. Not all the time, right? I think some people would see what I'm going to talk about next as downsides. I think they're positive, but we're gonna support people, but it's on you, <laughs> right? And some people might see that as a potential downside. Um, you know, and, and that you gotta grow and develop, and then you know, what you teach is there is a psychological battle that ensues. You, not you per se, but the person doing it, because we're human, right? And human nature sometimes gets the better of us in the sense that anything worthwhile demands discipline, you know, persistency and really sticking to something until it's done. You know, we, we talk about focus standing for follow one course until successful. Um, it doesn't stand for follow one course if successful, right? <laughs> yeah, so sure. that, uh, that determination and, and really um, be sticking with something long term, um, I think is, is really key. The obstacles you'll face, well, the leaders were clear on this. It's you against you. Are you mentally tough enough to hang in long enough to make it? I don't want to sound harsh, but snowflakes need not apply.
I would say that if you really, really do want to make a change and you want to separate yourself from the crowd, quit doing what the crowd does. And here you can do that. If you truly believe that you're meant to do more than whatever your job is right now, that, that you deserve to go and see the world and travel and make you know, a, a great six-figure income, if you believe that, then this is home. This is your chance. We got too many examples. So I, I would just say, please, 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 just study the, the, the successful people that are here and find out where we came from. And I promise you, you're gonna find someone with a very similar background to yours. I think that the first thing people have to go do is, um, you gotta take the time out to really look at the opportunity. And I don't mean just one day or one hour, or I don't mean just Googling it or go on the internet. Take the time out to go to the office and spend time with the leaders that are there, uh, whether it's for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or an hour or two. But take the time, because I think most people will make a lifelong decision in 10 minutes or 20 minutes or one presentation. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, how can you go out there and judge a company of this size, this stature, the kind of leaders that people's made a difference on, on a one hour conversation? It doesn't make sense. If you find a piece of clear glass this big on the ground, you're gonna treat it like a piece of garbage and throw it away. If you find a diamond that big on the ground, they're about the same size. You can see through them. They're both clear. But if you, if you find one of these and you know that that thing is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, you're going to treat it different than this. Sure. People pay $100 to take a further look at this business, and they treat it like that. They right. treat it like a $100 business. I got into this business and treated it like a million-dollar business. And then it paid me a million dollars. Does that make sense? Sure. What kind of advice did they offer? Very honest, straightforward advice. Give it a shot. What have you got to lose? And I went 10 years. 10 years struggling, never made even $40,000 in a year. And uh, even after all those years, it finally was starting to sink in my head that maybe, maybe this just wasn't going to deliver on the dreams I, I had hoped for. But then we, uh, we started our company and everything changed. That next year, everything changed. So people just got to hang in there. Don't give it two weeks. Don't give it six weeks. Don't give it six months. Okay. You got to give it two years. You got to give it two years. Right. And, and you're never going to get, any, you're never going to get good at anything in six months. Sure. Right. You're not going to get in. in how, have you ever heard of a pianist who gets, I mean, they're just amazing in uh, two weeks no. or two <laughs> months or six months. Right. Right. You know, I would say go on a 90 day mad person cycle, like go nuts for 90 days, put your head down. What I like to do anytime I'm out of town, I'll go back to the office and make 50 to hundred calls per day, three, four days in a row. And who do you call? And that stirs up the, uh, the activity. I'll call prospects. I'll call clients, I'll call recruits, old recruits, I'll call business cards, right? Anybody and everybody. Older, even you know? people that quit? Yeah. You call them back. Yeah, I call them up <laughs> and say, hey, I know back then timing wasn't right, but, you know, I just wanted to follow up with you. Oh, people you know? that didn't get in. Right. Do you ever call people that quit? I do. You do? Yeah. Of course you do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, momentum is magic. And if you can stir up that momentum and make 50 to 100 calls a couple days in a row, all of a sudden you'll be on a bunch of appointments and whoever goes on the most appointments wins in this business. So what if you're in the business, but you haven't broken through to, you know, serious money yet? I'd say welcome to being an entrepreneur. <laughs> I've been an entrepreneur for over 30 years and you win some and you lose some and success almost always takes longer than you think. That's life. That's business. You either hang tough and eventually break through, or you give up and go back to living with the masses. The choice is yours. You know, I'd like to say something to you that the WFG associates are too classy to say. Look at the odds of you becoming financially independent. If you're a professional athlete, or an Ivy League graduate or famous celebrity, your odds are probably very good. But if you're a mere mortal, like the rest of us, 
Odds are the WFG may be the one and only shot you have of living a life that most people only see in movies. I mean, anything is possible, but when it comes to money, successful people play the percentages. They don't play the slot machines. They own the slot machines. They stack the deck in their favor. And when they get rich, the rest of the world wonders how they're pulling a rabbit out of a hat. The game is over before it begins because all the odds are stacked on their side. It's the same strategy the rich have been employing for 200 years in this country and in Canada as well. I know because I've been interviewing self-made millionaires since 1984. Now it's your turn. You have this chance, which may be your only legitimate shot at the big time. Now you have to make a decision. Do you pull the trigger on this thing or not? Do you decide to plant your flag with WFG or do you waver back and forth like the masses do with every challenge? The choice is yours. I mean, why not just go for it? Like Eric Olson says, why not just go nuts for 90 days and see what you're capable of? What have you really got to lose? When's the last time you went on a 90 day mad person cycle where you just went nuts for 90 days? And the answer is probably they never have done it. You know, so if they, you know, a lot of people say things like, I'm quitting. I go, well, what do you mean you're quitting? You never started, <laughs> right? So if you never started something, you know, how are you going to quit? You know, so. All you do is gain a family, a family that wants you to win, a family that will fight the fight with you side by side, step by step a family full of winners. Well, whatever you decide, I wish you the best. Thanks for watching, and I hope to meet you face to face someday at a WFG event. Go WFG, whoosh.